Hello Taurus, welcome to your monthly love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies as well as how you feel about each other. So let's just jump right in. Spirits, angels. Messages for Taurus, please. Regarding love. What does Taurus need to know regarding love? As always, this is going to be a general love reading, Taurus, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching 100%. If this doesn't resonate for you at all, check out my playlist for Taurus. I'll have it pinned in the comments for you. Okay, first card out is let your friends help you. And then children. Ask for and accept support from others and children. Your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what the tarot has to say because I'm getting a few messages already. Obviously, you know, there's the obvious ones. Um, children could be involved here in some way. Um, maybe you need a good support system around you right now. But I also got this strange message of like childish energy, like gossiping amongst a friend group or a group of people. So we'll see what the tarot has to say. For Taurus, please, Spirit. What messages do you have? For Taurus regarding love, please. Let's just do it for Taurus. Let's cut the deck. Okay, recent past. We have the Knight of Swords reversed, and then we have in your energy temperance. And the Ten of Cups reverse, Sagittarius energy there with Temperance. In the present, we have the King of Pentacles reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. In their energy, we have the Fool reverse with the Four of Swords reverse. In the near future, we have the Strength card reverse, Leo energy there. Hmm. bottom of the deck we have the seven of wands reversed i feel like and the star i feel like someone is lacking courage here you or your person taurus there's a, a a lack of courage or um kind of like an exhaustion like no longer able to fight back or no longer able to resist something um and then i have the star i feel like there's hope though So let's clarify all of these. I feel like you are very unhappy. Um, something must have happened either with family members or just there's a disappointment at perhaps something taking too long here or something not coming together or um, maybe you're trying to center yourself even after there has been a heartbreak for you. Let me clarify for Taurus. You're on your person's side. I'm getting like someone that is very restless, very restless energy here. But let's start with the Knight of Swords reverse in the recent past. What's this about? For Taurus, please. Why is the Knight of Swords reverse? Page of Pentacles. Some sort of opportunity here. Maybe an offer, maybe someone doing research. about something tell me about the knight of swords reverse why am i getting research out of this card nine of cups emotional fulfillment so this offer makes someone very happy so why the knight of swords reverse can i get one more ten of pentacles this is a really good offer. Um, but then I have like the Magician Reverse and the Knight of Swords Reverse. So I feel like there's something off about an opportunity here. Um, all of these cards are great cards to have. Um, you know, we have the Page of Pentacles, which could symbolize like a, an opportunity being given, an offer being extended. That's small, but has potential for long-term security and success. 
And then the Nine of Cups, this is emotional fulfillment. This is enjoying the fruits of your labor. A wish being granted. Full satisfaction here. But with the Knight of Swords reverse, I have the Magician reverse, the World reverse. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting like weird energy here. Like maybe the offer is too good or, you know, it's too good to be true. I mean, or perhaps there's something that you might not know about this opportunity, this offer that has come in. Now time is fluid. So this could still be kind of unfolding right now, but this is in the recent past position here. So let's see, why is the King of Pentacles reverse? Typically for me, the King of Pentacles is someone that's already in a long-term commitment. When he's reversed, he's unable to commit. Um, not a very good partner, very focused on money. Uh, could be a little greedy. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Wands. Again, that tired energy. This is someone that has been through a lot. The Nine of Wands, there's trust issues here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles. There could be a third person. Here, one more please for this King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. We have the star again at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy here. Interesting. I feel like this King of Pentacles cannot work on something or perhaps there's something that really needs a lot of effort or energy here with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. But the King of Pentacles reverse, they're unable to give because they don't have anything really to give here. Um, they make financial mistakes or, you know, they, they, they don't make very practical decisions, which is very like rare for them. Usually they're very careful, practical, stable, you know. So I feel like this is someone that's been through a lot. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. And I feel like there's an exhaustion here, but it's emotional. There's probably healing that needs to happen here for someone. But it's going to require some sort of effort or it's involving a third person. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? The lovers reverse Gemini energy. Why is the three of pentacles, not the three of pentacles, the eight of pentacles here? Wow. Ace of pentacles fell out, two of wands reverse, and the moon reverse Pisces energy. Again, something hidden is coming out in the surface here or surfacing with the moon reverse. And Taurus, you keep having this message of like having an opportunity on your own or going after something. With the lover's reverse, there could be a choice here being made because I have the lover's reverse with the two of wands reverse. And the lover's is a card about choice. What your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you, you know, choosing between that. There could also be some sort of surprise opportunity here with the moon reverse and the Ace of Pentacles, something solid financial opportunity here. Maybe something to do with work, like a job offer. So this could be something to do with work. I have the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands. This is something you've been, you've been waiting for news probably, a message here from this person. Maybe you work with this person. I feel like I'm getting, there's a lot of possibilities here. This could be you, you know, this King of Pentacles reverse. You've been through a lot. Maybe it's got taken a lot out of you, but you're not really given, giving up on this opportunity for yourself. Um, this could also be the person you're dealing with. Maybe they are trying to make you some sort of an offer here. We'll see when we dive more into your energies. So let's do that now. Let's see. Let me first get an Oracle card. I'm going to use my Stellar Energy Oracle deck here. This is linked down below if you are interested. Spirit, tell me about Taurus and this other person. What are their energies at this time for Taurus, please? Tell me about Taurus. What is the energy that Taurus is 
bring you to this connection. Moving forward, movement ending cycles. You're moving forward into a new chapter. I keep getting this message for my Taurus um, viewers. This message of walking away, moving forward, a new chapter, a new beginning. Look at this happy ending. Fell here with unhealthy attachments. That's that Ten of Cups card with the happy ending. So I feel like you, you're, you're trying to move towards a happy ending, but there's probably an attachment that you are having to something or someone. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Wishing well. Wish, desire, request. Your wish is being granted. That's this Nine of Cups here. Taurus, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other. Feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. So, interesting. I feel like this person is the one making you this offer. But there's something off about it. We'll see. Okay, let's look at this temperance card. Why is temperance here? Six of cups. Soulmate energy, past energy. Nostalgia. Why is temperance here? Eight of wands. And then the strength card reversed Leo energy. So the Temperance card is all about making something work, blend in harmony. This is all about patience, um, moderation, taking your time. So I feel like there's something I've, that's taking its time, um, either communication with a soulmate, um, some sort of communication from the past. And it's probably because courage is needed. I feel like with temperance here, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, someone with Sagittarius in their chart, but with temperance here and the eight of wands, it's almost like slowly trying to get something to work so that you can make some sort of, take some sort of action or communicate something. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Cups. So this could be an offer of love, uh, uh, you know, coming to you with an apology with the Knight of Cups. Could be dealing with a Leo as well. Very interesting energy, because this could be something that is happening, you know, someone that wants to communicate with you that's from the past, or this is you wanting to communicate with someone from the past here. But I have Strength Reverse twice, so it's almost like, I don't know, why is Strength Reverse here? Why is Strength Reverse? Queen of Wands, this is someone that needs to take action, yes. So courage is needed to take some sort of action here. To be bold, to take a risk. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? The Empress reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? Three of Cups, see that's that like group of people and the world reverse. There's something here with a group of people. Maybe there is um Yeah, it's like it's like you could be stuck in a cycle or perhaps you're just unhappy with a group of people. Um For others of you, this could be wanting to reunite with someone. Uh, but there's unfinished business here, lack of closure, there's something to do with family. There's something that I feel is not really working out for you, or it's taking really long to happen. Tell me if that's resonating for you in the comments. So let's look at your person. Why is the full reverse? Why is the full reverse? Ace of Cups reverse, yikes. Why is the Fool reverse? The Devil. 
Capricorn energy. Ah. Why is the full reverse? The chariot. Okay, so Cancer energy. I feel like this is someone that wants to move away from a difficult situation or a toxic situation or an unhealthy attachment of some sort uh, because they're not happy there. But there's hesitancy in starting this new beginning or it'll be a reckless risk for someone. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that wants to move forward here, but perhaps children are involved for them or for you. Um, or something to do with family. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Hold on. Wow, okay. I'm going to put this back in. But just so you know, the Knight of uh, Pentacles and the Ten of Cups fell out again, kind of like sideways. Let's try this again. Let me clarify. Four Taurus. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Yeah, this is about breaking free, taking action, overcoming their fear. Knight of Ooh, see, this person's hesitating, or um, they don't want to make a mistake, they don't want to jump in to something. Yeah, this is them walking. Okay, so this is someone that, unfortunately, they want to take action. They don't want to be kind of stuck anymore, uh, this person that you're dealing with. They're walking away or needing to walk away from what I feel is an unhealthy situation. But with the Knight of Wands reverse, it's almost like, I don't know, they're not taking the action necessary or perhaps they're delayed in taking action. And I feel like it's due to fear here. Let's see. Strength card reverse in the near future and a position here. Why is strength reverse? And I feel like this is their wish is to walk away and move forward here. But I feel like your wish is the same. Um, or perhaps you're just waiting for confirmation or a message from this person to also close your cycle out because your cycle isn't closing here. And I feel like this could either be a soulmate or someone from the past here with the Six of Cups. Okay, tell me about Strength Reverse. Why is Strength Reverse? Oh, I got two. The Tower Reverse and the King of Pentacles again. Could be dealing with an Earth sign here, or this is someone that's already in a commitment, or it's just very uh, stable, secure. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about freedom. And then I have the Six of Swords at the bottom. So, yes, this is someone that I feel they don't want, maybe they're trying to delay a Tower. They want to be free, they want to move forward, but they also want to be practical about it. With the Eight of Pentacles here, now this is starting to make a little bit more sense. So this is someone that wants to, you know, they, they maybe have regret over a choice or made the bad choice in the past, or perhaps there was a separation between you in the past. But now, you know, it's like they're working on a new path here, a new opportunity. And for some reason, that's going to be a big reveal, possibly a tower. Um, you know, and there's been, you know, they've been in a difficult situation, this King of Pentacles reverse. I'm starting to think this is your person. Um, maybe there's a third party situation. Uh, there's love, emotion, attraction here, but it's like there's a wall here. Someone is not doing well in the situation that they're in and it's affecting everything else. Maybe there was promises made in the past. Uh, maybe this is someone that, you know, you, there's a lot of potential with. But courage is needed in order to move forward here. And I feel like they're walking away from something. And there's possibly communication that that's happening here between you and this person. There's an attraction here with the Queen of Wands. 
the eight of wands this could be happening online or something like that maybe you're even talking about the fact that this person doesn't have you know the courage to move forward and you have the move forward card so i think that you just are ready to get this started but you know there's some sort of interference here with the the devil energy and this emperor's reverse is also making me think of like you know something's not growing not manifesting but there's no closure either you're kind of stuck in this rut otherwise i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching your like share subscribes i really appreciate it um, all of the information that you would want to know about the decks that i use and my book and my website all of that is in the description box uh, thank you so much for watching once again and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care